Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss the differences between analog and digital communication. So, let us start with it. Here, I have listed different parameters that will help us to differentiate analog communication from a digital communication. These parameters are listed in the leftmost column. Let us start with the first parameter that is the type of the signal used. Quite obviously, analog communication uses analog signals, whereas a digital communication uses digital signals. Talking about the signals, let us now take the next parameter, which is the signal complexity. Analog signals are highly complex because the signal amplitude varies continuously with time from 0 to 100. On the other hand, digital signal amplitude is of two levels that is either low that is 0 or either high that is 1. The next parameter is the effect of noise during transmission. Analog communication suffers from noise during transmission and therefore the effect of noise during transmission for analog communication are high. Whereas for a digital communication, the effect of noise is quite low during transmission. The next parameter is the broadcasting ability. In analog communication, only a very limited number of channels can be broadcasted simultaneously, whereas in digital communication, a large number of channels can be simultaneously broadcasted. The next parameter is the error probability. The error probability in analog communication is considerably high, whereas that in digital communication is quite low. The next parameter is the noise immunity. Since analog communication has higher error probability, it has poor noise immunity. On the other hand, since digital communication has a low error probability, it has good noise immunity. The next parameter is coding. Coding will be highly helpful in representing data before transmission. In analog communication, coding is not possible or can be considered as considerably complex. Whereas in digital communication, coding is possible. Different coding techniques can be used to detect as well as correct errors. The next parameter we will consider is separating out noise and signal after transmission. In analog communication, separation of noise and signals is almost not possible or can be considered highly complex. Whereas in digital communication, separation of noise and signals at the receiver is possible and requires suitable modifications to the receivers. The next parameter we have is the hardware complexity. Analog communication has complex hardware, whereas digital communication has less complex hardware. Now, since analog communication has complex hardware, the flexibility of analog communication is quite low, whereas for digital communication, it is considerably high. Talking about the multiplexing, analog communication uses frequency division multiplexing. On the other hand, digital communication uses time division multiplexing. The next parameter we have is the cost. Analog communication systems are of low cost. On the other hand, digital communication systems cost a little high. The next parameter we have is the bandwidth requirement. Analog communication systems require low bandwidth, whereas digital communication systems require very high bandwidth. Next, we have power consumption as a parameter. Analog communication systems consume high power. On the other hand, digital communication systems consume considerably low power. The next parameter is portability. Analog communication systems are not very portable and therefore the portability can be called low for analog communication, whereas for digital communication it is considerably high. Coming to privacy, analog communication systems fail to provide high privacy and therefore we say they provide low privacy. On the other hand, digital communication systems provide quite high privacy. Since the privacy for analog communication systems is low, the security is quite low, whereas for digital communication, the security is quite high. The next parameter is data transmission accuracy. The accuracy of data transmission for analog communication is considerably low, whereas for digital communication it is considerably high. And at last, we talk about synchronization. 
It is very essential to have the transmitter and receiver synchronized for proper transmission of the data from a source to a destination. Analog communication systems suffer from synchronization problem and therefore it requires complex hardware to provide a proper synchronization between a transmitter and receiver. On the other hand, digital communication systems provide synchronization between the transmitter and receiver with a lot of ease. Right. So that is about the differences between analog and digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.